Good morning. I figured I would do a quick little tutorial on how to deal with score lines and attaching those score lines to the background image in Cricut Design Space. And so the uh, example file I'm going to use is our new snowman candy bar wrap. And I have already loaded that to the files here. So I select that, add it to the canvas and everything will come in as one grouped part. And so what I want to do, I'm going to right click and ungroup the parts and pieces. In all of our files, when we have dash lines that go on top of a background piece, we group them first before grouping the entire uh, the entire set of cutting pieces. And you'll notice I can move it around and it looks like like the score lines should stay attached or should go to the mat along with the background piece. However, that's not the case in Design Space. Um, these pieces are simply grouped. You'll notice like if we go to make it, when I go to the mats, you can see, or to the papers, you can see, okay, here's the, the background layer, but it doesn't have the score lines with it. Instead, you don't see this very well, but the score lines are on the black cutting mat. That's not where we want them. So I go back to the mat and again I select the candy bar wrap along with the score lines and you can see these are both grayed out over here. That means you've got two different pieces selected. The the score lines constitute one piece. If I were to want to change this to score instead of cut, when this is selected I would select over here the basic cut and this is going to select just the score lines and then you have the option to either just do the basic cut or you can change it to score but we're not going to change it to score. We're going to use the cutting, the cutting tool, the, the blade to, to do this one. And so what I do is I select, again, I select that background layer. It's grouped with the dashed lines and I go down here and select attach. Now they're one piece when it goes to the mat. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, gift card pocket. I select both of those and then I click attach. Now when these parts go to the, the different papers here, now you can see that the dash lines stayed with the background. And that's how you make sure that your score lines stay with the background piece. It's just simply use the, the attach tool that, and you'll be down here in the right corner. 